it'll take a few times, it'll take a few minutes. Well, praise God. Ha happy Sunday morning to you and happy wow. first Sunday of uh, May. May. Amen. And just know, those of you that are watching, those of you listening, next Sunday, second, uh, 9th of May is Mother's Day. Yes, it is. Amen. If you're here, if you're born and you're here in this earth, <laughs> that means <laughs> you have a mother. <laughs> So the Bible says to honor yeah. your father and your amen, mother. Amen, amen. Amen. Honor your mother. Call her. Uh -huh. uh, any differences there, settle them. Yes. The Bible says, you know, honor, honor your mother if she's perfect. No. Uh -huh. It says honor your mother. Get it right. Maybe things are not well with you because you haven't been doing this. Uh -huh. It's time to get it right. Yes. Amen. Don't wait till she's dead and then you say, go oh. cry at her at her at her graveside or <laughs> at the funeral. No. Yeah. Let her know right now. Thank you yes. for bringing me into this world. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And pray for her. Amen. If she she she's got faults, she'd sin. Pray for her. Yes. Amen. None of us are perfect. That's so right. anyway, I just want to say happy Sunday morning. Yes. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome all all of you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, Pastor Jose yeah. and Patricia. Bienvenidos a la iglesia no comienzo. Hallelujah. All those, we want to welcome all those of you joining us by audio and video. All we ask for you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio and video. Yes. And get ready, get ready, get ready. Amen. Yeah. To receive what God has for you. Yes. If you don't come that way, it's time that you get hungry for Him. And we've been talking about this. I mean, we've been talking about this series is about being available. And you know, when you make yourself available by being hungry for Him, being thirsty for Him, for more of Him, there's more, more, more. Amen. Uh, I want to thank the praise team, you know, because they sang a song that I love. <laughs> and they sang a song, they sang a lot of songs I love. But they, they sang this song, I have decided to follow Jesus. We need to sing that song on a daily basis. Amen. Lord, I have decided to follow you today. Amen. Thank you for waking Amen. me up. Yes. Thank you for, for being there for me. Yes. Thank you for blessing me. Amen. amen. All these things. I've decided to follow you yes. each and every day. Amen. Recommit yourself. Rededicate yourself yes. on a daily basis just to serve him. Amen. amen. Oh man. Amen. I don't know about you, but uh, that blesses me. Yes, yes. Amen. So thank you, praise team. Mm -hmm. They brought it up. You know, another thing they said was, oh, this is a, a well, they didn't say this, but a lot of people say this. Well, you know, this is an old song. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, let's take the old out, you know, uh -huh. because we're singing the word of God. And the yeah. word of God is not old. It's always new. Yes. Bible talks about the new, uh, the, the word of God, the gospel, the good news. Yes. Good news. Amen. And that's what the word of God is, the good news. Yes. So there's nothing old about the word of God. That's People right. might say that. And if you listen, you might fall into that. Well, you know, hey, we need to practice something new. Oh. No, there's nothing newer than nothing the word of God. Newer. Amen. So remember that. And don't be like you can be changed by the word of God yes. on a daily basis. Yes. He wants to change us. He wants to grow us up. He yes. wants to grow us up. Amen. Amen. And I'm excited. We're going to continue with being available for him. Amen. Part four. Amen. So you, grab your swords. Grab your Bibles. Yes. This is one of my lessons. So don't think I, I drink, I drink uh, Pepsi uh, while, while I'm preaching. Amen. Remind me about that. Amen. So grab your sword, soldier of yes. God, amen. amen. Uh, warrior of God, yes. warrior. warrior. Okay. <laughs> let's let's do this declaration, amen. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking with God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Another, another song we sang was. One day at a time. Yes. Amen. And we're growing. Yes, we and are. going for him. Amen. Yes. But we're going one day at a time. Yes. Let's do that. Continue to serve him one day at a time. Yes. I have a few spiritual nuggets I want to share with you. Praise and it kind of goes with the uh, being available. Amen. Amen. So this uh, scripture break that I put on Facebook on a daily basis says, Be yourself. Do not conform yourself to the ways of the world. Right. Do not it doesn't matter what people think. That's right. God made you the way you are for a reason. Be yeah. the original he made you to be. Original yeah. is worth more than a copy. Yes, it is. Don't try to copy somebody. Praise Don't try to God. be somebody else. Right. Be yourself. 
Saul wanted David to be somebody else. He said, put this armor on. Uh -huh. It won't fit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. I can't be your copy. Right. But I can be the original God made me to be. Right. Right. Saul, David says, I'm going to be what God made me to be. Yeah. I'm going to be the shepherd boy. And I'm going to use my sling shot. I'm going to use my sling. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use what God gave me. Yes. Amen. So God made you that way. So don't try to change yourself. Or don't let people change you. Right. Amen. Right. So anyway, be the original is worth more than a copy. Be yes, a yes. God pleaser and not people pleaser. Yeah, yeah. See yourself the way God sees you. Yes. He's called to you. Talking about you. Mm -hmm. You're watching. You're listening. He's called you. Yes, yes. Amen. Every one of you. Mm -hmm. Anointed you. Qualified you. And yes. equipped you. So quit waiting for the world to qualify you. Yes, I'm qualified right. by the best. Yes. I'm qualified by God. Yes. He chose me. He called me. He anointed me. Amen. Amen. And equipped me. He doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. Yes. You answer the call. You're qualified. Uh -huh. When you call to you, say, hey, I'm ready. And, Bob, you know, I make myself available. I'm, yeah. I'm here for you. You're qualified. Amen. Yes. It says be available. Be yourself. And be the original he made you to be. Yeah. That's, a, that's a, a scripture break. Amen. <laughs> I've got a few things I want to share with you before we get into the lesson. And some of these are slides, except for this one. But this is uh, also part of being available. Complacency. I'm going to give you a few definitions of complacency. I don't use that word a whole lot. But some of these other words I use, you're going to, you're going to recognize. Yeah. Self-satisfaction. Lazy. <laughs> Procrastination. Oh, Doing what I want to do. Mm. Lord, bless my plans, Lord. Mm. God says, my plans for you are already blessed. Mm -hmm. Why don't you accept my plans? Yeah. You know, we want to have him bow down to us. <laughs> Doing as little as possible. Mm. Not pressing on. Just being neutral. Oh. Lukewarm not available mm -hmm. that makes sense we're complacent mm -hmm. we're just mm -hmm. standing still okay we're not pleasing we, we want to please the world and please god you know uh i forgot how i was i saw this we want to hold hands with god yeah. and the devil yeah. and walk together hand in hand <laughs> so that ain't gonna work not gonna work amen he's a jealous god yes, forget it is. don't don't even go there <laughs> let me read this to you complacency is a huge problem for a lot of believers huh. Come on now. You start out on fire for God. Hey, oh, praise God, God yeah. saved. Man, you start on fire. Mm -hmm. You're constantly telling people about Him. Oh, yeah. And you can't put your Bible down. <laughs> Amen. Everywhere you go. Make sure if you carry your Bible. Uh -huh. Your glasses. Oh, yeah. Make sure. Don't step on I, I'll get it, brother. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you care, if you carry your Bible, make sure you just don't carry it. Make sure you open it up and read it. It's the Word of God. Amen. Amen. It's the Word of God, and that's your instructions right there. Uh -huh. So anyway, being available mm -hmm. when you when that high when that passion when that high passion is gone, mm -hmm. you're left with a day to day battle against your sinful nature. Mm -hmm. You start really, really rationalizing. <laughs> excusing away from all, right. all these things that God has given you. Amen. Mm. Ministry can wait until I have more time. Mm. Ministry can wait. God can wait. Mm -mm. Everything is to wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay? You start saying to yourself, or maybe I just wait until I get older and mm. wiser. Mm. You know, we're making plans. We're telling God when to use us. Uh, or we just waiting on God. No, God's waiting on us. Mm -hmm. Complacency. We're not available. Mm -hmm. Let me read it to you again. Start really uh, excusing away from your effectiveness for the Lord. Ministry can wait until I have more time. You can say to yourself, or maybe I'll just wait until I'm older and wiser. Basically what you're saying is, I'm complacent. I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm procrastinating. And I'm not available, God. God wants to use you, but you're not available. Don't let this type of thinking, thinking, thinking seep into your mind uh -huh. or your spirit. It's a trap. Remember, the enemy comes to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. <laughs> Come on. 
Complacency pulls you and drags you down. If you don't have this, what I'm going to say now, mm. write it down somewhere. Amen. Right. But it says, complacency will pull you down and drag you down. Sin will take you further oh, yeah. than you want to go. Oh, Keep you oh, longer yeah. than you want to stay. And it will cost you more, more than you want to pay. Oh. Okay, this is sin. Mm. And you know what? As long as you're in sin, everything may be fine. You're trying to get out of sin. Oh, yeah. And the devil's going to give you hell. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. The devil's going to give you hell. Oh, gosh. All right. And you know what? When you're sinning, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Oh, yeah. Amen. The more you do it, the easier it gets and the harder it is to get out. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> That's right. You may be young or old, but that doesn't mean that your, in, uh, that your impact for God's kingdom should be any less. That's Remember, right. age has nothing to do with it. And sometimes we put limits. Saul was putting limits on 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 David. It says, "You're just a little guy." Mm -hmm. You know when the when the, when the man of God came to select the next king of Israel, mm -hmm. he saw all these mighty uh, sons of uh, Jesse. Man, these are guys, nice built and everything, mm -hmm. handsome and everything. But when he saw the little shepherd boy, he said, "Oh man, he's just a boy." God says, "He's the one." Mm -hmm. When God sees you, when God saw yes. you, He says. Yes. You're, you're yeah. it. You're it. That's what I want. I made you this way. I chose you. I called you. So see yourself the way God sees yes. you. A yes. winner, a champion, an overcomer. Yes. Amen. 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 Doesn't matter what the world says. The world says you're not qualified for anything. Mm. You're no good for anything. Mm. Okay? But God sees the good in you. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. See, God sees the inside. Yes, not does. just the outside. People That's judge right. you from the outside. Uh -huh. God sees you, your inside. Amen. Yes. Woo, come on now. <laughs> yeah, That's good. Ooh, you may be young or old, but that doesn't mean that your impact for God's kingdom should be less. That's right. It's actually a great inspiration for those relatable to you. Amen. So with you, wherever your influence is, wherever you happen to go, mm -hmm. wherever God has you, People will see you, mm -hmm. and you can affect those people there. Yes, yes. I, I don't go where you go, but wherever God takes you, mm -hmm. you can impact those people there. Yes, you can. Amen. So just know this: wherever could be. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go there right now. <laughs> so renew your passion yeah. and be available for Him. Amen. On a daily basis, renew that passion. Stay hungry. Stay more thirsty for more of Him. Amen. And be available. Uh -huh. Okay, Lord, here I am. Set an example of serving and, and rejecting indifference or unimportance. Press on. Don't stay back. It's time to press on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You press on. You know, the crowd may be holding back, but God says, move on. It's time to yeah. move on yeah. and press on. Yes. Don't, don't hold back. Amen. Right. Woo, hallelujah. That blessed yeah. me. I don't know about you, but it blessed me. Mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna we have we have a slide on this next one here, but I have one here that says, "Let your faith be bigger than what? Yes, your yes. fears. Your fears. Those of you watching my video uh -huh. can see this, but it reads like this: Let your faith be bigger than your fears. Yes. Fears and faith both demand that you believe in something that you cannot see, mm -hmm. but the choice is yours. Yeah." Amen. I'd rather believe and have faith in him yeah. than have fear. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of yeah. love and of a sound mind. Right. Amen. Right. So, yeah. But still, it's your choice. Yeah. You know, are you going to step out in faith? Uh -huh. Here's another sign here, another uh, picture here. It says, we walk by faith, faith and not by sight. If you ain't walking in faith, you're walking in fear. That's it. But he didn't say He's given us a spirit of fear. He's given no, us right. a spirit of faith. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So let's do that. Let's use our faith and be available for to do what he's called us to do. Amen. Amen. Woo. I thank you, Carmen. It says, Lord, I'm available to you. Uh -huh. On a daily basis, constantly, you can just say that. Lord, yes. here I am. Send me. Yeah. I'm available for you. <laughs> yes. Thank Hallelujah. You. So, Ooh. so Hallelujah. be available for in part four. God wants to use you. Get this in you. Yeah. Get it in your spirit. Yes. God wants to use you. Yeah. If you if you start uh, losing or not having a relationship with Him, 
if you lose that relationship, you're going to start walking away from him. And you're going to feel like, well, he don't love me anymore. Mm -hmm. he, he, he don't want to use me anymore. Mm -hmm. He's giving me all this mess. Mm -hmm. You know? No. That's a pity party. No, no, no. Don't have. You know, when you have a pity party, all you do is invite yourself, me, myself, and I. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> don't have pity parties. Amen. Oh, don't go there. Because he wants to use you. Yes, Amen. It's the enemy Amen. comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. So he wants to use you, but what? We must make ourselves available oh, and serve him with passion. Amen. Passion is serving him with commitment, excitement, yeah. enthusiasm, dedication. Amen. Zeal. Yes. Man. This is this is this is it's just a few things uh review from last week. So God wants to use you where you are. God wants to live, use you where you live, where you yeah. work, where you go to school. Yeah. Wherever He wants to use you. Yes, he It's does. your area of influence. Yes. I can't, I can't have influence where you go. Yeah, that's right. But as a child of God, you can have influence and impact for God wherever you happen to be. That's right. So don't compare yourself to somebody and say, well, they got a big crowd, you know. Uh -uh. Well, it might be, what was the... Uh, uh, one prince that was going in the desert mm -hmm. and God translated this man. He mm -hmm. put the prophet right there in front of him. Yeah. And got saved and got baptized. Yeah. And next thing you know, he was gone somewhere else. <laughs> he got translated somewhere. <laughs> man, I said, whoo, whoo, God, praise God. And he wants you to be, listen, if you don't have this, you can write this down. He wants you to be a world changer. Yes. He wants you to be a world changer yes. in Marfa. <laughs> he wants you That's to be right. a world changer in Alpine, wherever you happen to be. Well, little old me, no. See yourself, I have a great Amen. big God. Amen. See yourself that way, amen? Woo, come on now. <laughs> he wants us to be an impact, be an impact, impact people. Yes. We want, we want us to be in, impact, impact people, mm -hmm. live with purpose and fulfill our call. Yeah. God wants us to use God wants to use us, but we need to know yeah. to serve Him with passion. Yes. And uh, we're going to start right here. God wants to use you, but He's a jealous God. Oh, Being yes. jealous simply means this. Oh, boy. He will we not know, accept half-hearted <laughs> service. You know, hey, yeah. once in a while, you know, I'll serve you once in a while. Mm -hmm. Forget about you. And then we remember, oh, you know, I need, I need, I need, I need help, Lord. Mm -hmm. No, He wants... He wants you to be full time. Yes. Remember, part time Christian is no match to a full time devil. That's right. That's right. You can't you can't go against the enemy huh. halfway. Uh -uh. You got to be full time. Yes. Amen. He wants us totally surrendered. He wants us totally committed. He wants us totally available and faithful yes. and teachable. He wants us to be. He wants to be first in our lives. Yes. He desires to be at the top of our list. Every one of us has a priority list. Yeah. He wants to be on the top of our priority That's right. list. That's right. Amen. I don't know what your priorities are, but God should be the first one. Uh -huh. Patricia and I have priority lists. Before Patricia comes God. She knows that. Amen. 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 He desires to be at the top of our list. He wants us to stay hungry. He wants us to stay thirsty for more of Him. Amen. Can't have enough. You gotta stay full. You know, <laughs> when you drive your car, you fill your car up. You drive it; it goes empty. Mm -hmm. As a soldier of God, as a, as a Christian, we gotta fill ourselves with the Word of God. Yes, we gotta stay spiritually filled all yeah. the time. Amen. All the time. You run out, you're gonna start walking away. You're gonna start saying things. You're gonna start doing things that you're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. So I say, wait a minute. I'm going to renew, I'm going to get filled, renew my mind yes. with the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Whew, he wants His purpose for our lives to be Amen. the most important. Yes. Revelation uh, 3.16 says what? But you are only warm and not hot, oh. not cold. So I am ready to spit you out of my oh, mouth. Boy. Amen. So we need to remember this. Mm. Passionate believers are consumed with fulfilling what God has called them to do. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. a mission God has put me on. As long as you're in this world, you're on a mission. You're, on a you're mission. either serving the enemy or you're serving yeah. God. That's and it. if I'm serving God, He sent me to fulfill to, to fulfill this mission. And if I'm 
in tune with him in relationship with him yeah. i am going to fulfill my mission amen amen so when you come home when he calls you home he's going to say well done good and faithful servant mm -hmm. amen yeah. amen <laughs> passion is a motivating force that caused yeah. us to see our dreams come true yes it is amen passion passion empowered us to overcome fear, doubt, and discouragement. Mm -hmm. The enemies, <laughs> we talked about, uh, last week we talked about, uh, what was it? Uh, star your yeah. distractions and yeah. feed your focus. Uh -huh. Feed your focus. Yeah. Okay? But we're going to start with all of those distractions. Get rid of all the distractions that call your way <laughs> to do what you want to do. Or all what right. the world or what man wants you, yeah. wants you to do. Right. Amen. And do what God has called me to do it. Yes. Stay focused. Be available. Be passionate about yeah. serving Him. You're going to hear that a lot. Passion keeps us pressing on in spite of how many times we experience setbacks. How many times we fail. You know, a lot of times when we fail, when we have setbacks, we just want to hold back and have a pity party and not get involved anymore. All right. No, it's time to press on. Yes. Say, Lord, I failed you. Yeah. Forgive me. He says, I forgive you. Now, get up, dust yourself, and press on. And yeah. do what I've called you to do. Yeah. <laughs> Passion picks us up no matter how many times we get knocked down. Mm -hmm. So, how many times have you been knocked down? Mm -hmm. The Bible heroes we talk about in the Bible, they got knocked down many times. And look at Paul and Silas. Mm -hmm. Man, they was beaten bad. Mm -hmm. But still, at the midnight hour, mm -hmm. they sang. They were singing, right. praying, and yes. singing hymns under God. Yes. And guess what? He heard him. Yes, he so he hears you too. Yes, Don't he ever think that God doesn't hear oh, you. Amen. I mean, that's doubt. Yep. Faith. Have faith and believe. He, yes. he hears me. Yes. He wants to bless me. He wants to use me. Yes. Amen. Thank Come you. on. Woo, woo. God wants to use you, but yes. reason many uh, of God's people never get used. Well, <coughs> the lack of passion, zeal, and enthusiasm. Uh, goals. They choose not to be involved. Yeah. They choose not to be available. Yeah. Lord, here I am. I'm available to yes. you. Keep going. Yes. Few slides for you. Available <laughs> now. Now. <laughs> you go. I've got a few people. I never use this one, so I wanted to use it. Make sure you read it now. So God likes to use fat people. <laughs> Faithful, available, and teachable. That's All what right. fat stands for. Okay. So. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Jesus was available. Are you? And you know, he knew his mission. And he knew how his mission was going to end up. And he still chose to come and be sacrificed. He chose to forgive us. He told the Father, forgive him. But he still went in God. Crucified. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. He's available. Keep going. God does not ask about our ability, inability, but He asks about our, our availability. He yes, wants yes. your availability. So a lot of you have another ministry. Mm -hmm. Your ministry of availability. Are you available? <laughs> Keep going. Here we are. <laughs> Just a few R's. Oh, God. Ten R's developing a passion for God. Oh. And we can spend some time here. But passion is what caused the disciples to turn their world upside down. Religious leaders hated it. They got involved. They made themselves available. Yes, they did. Amen. Here's just a few. If you don't have these, I think I gave gave you some handouts. Yeah. But it's just a few. Passion is to hungry, thirst, desires, and appetite and cravings for more of him. Yes. The first one is what? Reorder your priorities Reorder. and your values. Yes. Reorganize your schedule to give his word first place. Yes. Matthew 6 33. And we have it right there at the bottom is Matthew 6 33. But seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added on yes. you. So reorganize your schedule. Make sure he's on top of your priority list. Uh -huh. He's on top of your schedule on a daily basis. Yeah. And number three says, remain faithful to uh -huh. fellowship with God daily. Mm -hmm. Amen. Daily. On a daily basis. Fellowship with him. Fellowship, relationship grows. Amen. Rely more on the Holy Spirit and not your own abilities. Yes, Five says respond to all commands of the Holy Spirit without hesitation. Sometimes yes. we hesitate. 
okay? Yeah. And we hold back. Number six says, renew your pledge to live totally for him uh -huh. and abandon self. Yes. Amen. Oh, man, these are on a daily basis. Yes. Remember, remove any distractions. The uh -huh. enemy is going to see to it. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes, yes. He's going to use people. If people are not for God, they're for the enemy. Oh, yeah. And he's going to use distractions mm -hmm. to pull you away. Remove every distraction. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number eight says, release every non-productive habit in your life. Yeah. Amen. You know, you've got different habits than I do. Yeah. But you know what those habits are. If it's taking time from him, it's time to give it up. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Give it up. Uh, well, I'm not going there. <laughs> Resist every opportunity to stay yes. as you are. Yeah. Okay, remember we talked about complacency? Uh-huh. I just want to, hey, I just want to be cool. I just want to be right in the middle. Mm. You know, hold hands with God, hold hands with the enemy, hold hands with God, hold hands with the world. Mm. No, it can't be that way. No. He's a jealous God. Yes, he, he wants is. to bless you. He wants to do everything for you. Yes. He loves you. But you can't love the world and love him at the same time. Right. Amen. <laughs> And 10 says what? Remember to thank God for all he's done and doing in your life. Amen. You know, once in a while, uh, we treat him in, like the uh, spare tire. Uh -huh. And we use him when we need him. Yeah. And we know it's there for emergencies only. Mm -hmm. And we use him when emergencies, and that's the only time we remember him. Mm. You don't want to be that way. Right. No. Amen. Let's not give him that treatment. Right. And the scriptures, Matthew 6, 33 and Philippians 4, 13. There's many scriptures that fit this, okay? Yes. But Matthew, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Philippians 4, 13 says, I can do. And you could personalize that. Yes. Put, scratch the I and put your name on there. Yes. I, Jose, yes. can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Lord, I need your strength. I yes. can do all things through him. You can say the same thing and you can do the same. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank, Thank you, you, Carmen. Uh, <clears throat> so, passion is what caused disciples to turn their world upside down. Religious leaders hated it. Mm -hmm. Amen? And Acts 17, 6 says, Not finding them there, they dragged out Jason and some of other believers instead and took them before the council. Paul and Silas have caused trouble all over the world. Yeah. See, you can be here and you can pray all over the world. Uh -huh. Amen. You hear things and you see, you hear of situations, yes. but you can pray for those things. Yes. Mm -hmm. It says, if my people, which are yes. called by my name, mm -hmm. to humble themselves and pray. And pray. Yes. Amen. Pray. Thank you, Lord. You say, Paul and Silas caused trouble all over the world. They shouted. Yeah. They shouted and said, Paul and Silas called trouble all over the world. Mm -hmm. And now they are disturbing our city too. <laughs> you hear more about this. Oh, we, don't want, we don't want God in school. Oh. We don't got, want God anywhere. We want to scratch it off of uh -huh. everything and anything. Right, right. Even our currency. Yeah. Okay. We want it off of everything. Mm -hmm. We must disturb our cities in Marfa and Elphine, yes. Fort Davis, Presidio, yes. Big Bend area, or wherever God has you. Yeah. Those of you hearing, those of you uh, watching, wherever you happen to be, yes. God wants to use you where you are. Yes, yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. hey, don't think, you know, well, I want to fit in somewhere. You know, mm -hmm. well, God has you where he has you. Yes. We have another uh, plaque up here. It's, it's called Bloom Where God Has You. Uh-huh. Bloom, bloom for God wherever you are. Be available and bloom wherever you are. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Passion is what call Peter and John to deny the religious leaders on their their day when they were told never to preach about Jesus. Mm. Yeah. What about today? What about you? <laughs> mm. What if somebody told you that? Mm. I've had family members told tell me when you visit me, when you come to my house. Don't preach Jesus. I'm talking about family. Okay? I'm not talking about friends or enemies. I've had family tell me, don't preach Jesus in my house. The passion caused him to ignore the threats. Uh, let's go to 2 Timothy. I want to read this one. 2 Timothy 1. And we know these scriptures, but it's okay. It's 
We preach from the Bible. We teach from the Bible. So, first, second, second Timothy is right after first. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just helping you. Second Timothy one, it starts at verse six. We talked about this one earlier. Okay, it says, "Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee, where yes. in thee by the putting on of my hand." And said, verse seven says, "For God has not given us a spirit of fear, fear. but of power, power and of love and of a sound mind." Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, yes. nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partakers of the affli afflictions of the gospel mm -hmm. according to the power of God. You get this is just awesome. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, so this is this is where he's not giving us a spirit of fear. That's right. But right. still he's put gifts in you. He put that mm -hmm. gift in you. Right. Amen. Yes. And we gotta stir it up. Yes. You know, yeah. nobody's gonna come and stir it up. That's you got to store it up yourself. We talked about pep rallies. Mm -hmm. We got to have pep rallies on a daily basis with young, Man. and stir ourselves up. Yeah. Before you hit the world. Yeah. If if you hit the world without God, the world's gonna knock you down. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you have to be. You, well, you got to be ready. Yeah. Passion would not allow them to be silent. That's right. When you are passionate, you stay hungry. Oh, you yeah. stay thirsty. When yeah. you're hungry and thirsty, you overflow. It runs over. When you overflow, his word has to come out. Yes, it does. When his word comes out, you cannot stay silent. That's right. That's where I got yeah. my little soda. <laughs> Any of you ever done this? We used to do this when we were kids. No. We used to do this. Grab a soda and just shake it and shake it and shake it and just go and find a friend and just open it. And you know what's going to happen? Yeah. As the the soda is going to just shoot out of there. Oh yeah. Amen. So anyway, well, there's nobody in the front row. How come in church nobody's ever in the front row? Everybody's always in the back row. Anyway, um, anyway, you you take that and you shake it. Well, guess what? As Christians, we get the the, the let me see. The scripture says. Um, in John 7 38 mm -hmm. he that believeth on me as the scripture has said mm -hmm. out of his belly shall flow rivers, rivers. of living water yeah. stir the coke stir the Pepsi yeah. stir the soda and uh -huh. you know when you open it it's just gonna blow out mm -hmm. well you know some of us need to blow out wherever God sends us yeah. we just can't you can, we just can't be silent anymore That's right. nobody's silent mm -hmm. the world's not silent That's it. we need to speak it out yes stir ourselves up when we yes. stir ourselves up, I guarantee you, mm -hmm. when you open your mouth, it's mm -hmm. going to flow out. Yeah. But just because anything pops in your head don't mean it's got to come out of your mouth. That's right. Especially because you got to put a guard and you got to be careful of what uh -huh. you speak. Positive or negative, you have control. Yes. Amen. So, anyway, here, brother, be blessed. Ah, don't open it. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you know what's for your point, right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Passion would not allow David to cower down mm -hmm. and hide. First Samuel 17, it talks about Jesse sent David to Saul's camp. Uh -huh. David, this is when David kills Goliath. One day Jesse sent uh, David to take food to his three brothers mm -hmm. who are fighting God's enemy, the Philistines. When David arrived, he runs to the battle lines and he hears a giant Goliath taunting and defying the armies of the living God. Who is this pagan Philistine anyway? Mm -hmm. That he that, that he that he is allowed to do this. Yeah. The little shepherd boy is telling all these soldiers yeah. and the king, why are you allowing this <laughs> uncircumcised. uncircumcised Philistine to do this? Yes. Amen. Here's the armies of God. Mm -hmm. And all these guys, well, let me read it to you. It says, uh, Says all are afraid to accept the lion's challenge to fight him. King Saul hears about David and is willing to go. He made himself available. Yeah. He calls him. But when Saul sees David, he says, You are but a boy. Mm. You're too young. No kidding. Mm. You're too old. You're not good enough. You're not qualified. You're not equipped. Mm. Remember whose call 
who's called you and remember who you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember the little boy that brought a lunch? Mm -hmm. His mom packed him a lunch, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and he went. And the disciples, God, Jesus sent the disciples, go and see what you find. We, we, we got to feed all these people. He says, let them go. We can't feed all these people. Mm -hmm. Jesus sent them. He says, go and see what they have. He said, they went and found one little boy with yeah. a lunch. And, and they're thinking, mm -hmm. we bring this to him. Mm -hmm. And it's only a small lunch. Mm -hmm. So you know he's going to side with us. And he's going to tell them to go. <laughs> no. Whatever you have. Yes. Whatever they brought to him, they brought him and showed him. He yeah. says, good. Now he blessed him. And they went and passed out. Mm -hmm. And they had so many baskets left over mm -hmm. of what God blessed. And yeah. he's done, he'll do this for you also. Yes, he will. He's going to bless you, bless it, and all these things are going to be there for you. Yes. Amen. So this is the kind of God we serve. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes, this is yes. awesome. A small nudge to feed thousands, mm -hmm. and there was leftovers. Mm -hmm. Man, oh, you cannot get yeah. God. Mm -hmm. Praise God. We must know this on a daily basis. Never leave. He says he never leaves you, no forsakes That's you. That's right. If you feel like you're down and, and you feel like he's forgotten about you, mm -hmm. it's the other way around. That's right. We walked away from him. Yeah. We need to make it right. Say, Lord, yeah. I'm coming back home. I'm coming back to you like the prodigal son. <laughs> he said, hey, Dad, <laughs> it's time you give me my inheritance. It's time for me to go do my thing, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he did, but the world had his lunch. Mm -hmm. The world had him and knocked yes. him down. Yes, Even with did. the pigs. He said, man, I'll go back to Father and just let uh -huh. him know I can just be one of the slaves. Mm. Father saw him. And immediately he told the servants, put sandals and put a robe, put a new ring, kill the fatty calf. Yeah. Amen. That's the way he, he wants you when you come home. He's ready to take you back and say, hey, let's get busy. That's it. It's, time yeah. to, it's time to press on. <laughs> David explained to Saul that he... Uh, has killed lions. He has killed a uh, 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 a bear mm -hmm. that tried to carry off his uh, family sheep. Uh -huh. God uh -huh. has seen me through all my problems and setbacks. Mm -hmm. God has seen me through all this. We must remember this. Last time, what happened? God saw me through it. Mm -hmm. He'll do it again, and he'll do it again, yes. and over again. Amen. Amen. And you won't get tired. It's a second chance, yes. a third chance, a fourth chance, yes. and on as long as whatever it takes. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Goliath is the type of the world or a world trying to destroy you. Mm -hmm. Must We must become like one of them, David says. Go mm -hmm. and may the Lord be with you, yeah. Saul replies. <laughs> this is what Saul says. Okay, well, go. If you're going to go, go and may the Lord be with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> David mm -hmm. finds five smooth stones, put them in his shepherd bag. Take the sling and goes out to fight the giant. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be the original he yes. called you to be. That's, That's what David did. Be available for him. Yeah. Say, Lord, I'm available. Mm -hmm. When Goliath see a mere boy coming, he shouts. Mm -hmm. He shouts loud. He's a big man. Mm -hmm. Just come to me and I will give you flesh to the birds and the wild animals. David shouted and replied, You come to me with the sword and spear and the javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defined. Today the Lord will, will conquer you, and I will kill you, and I'll cut your head off. At that, David ran towards the giant. How many of you run towards your problems? I know who's backing me. I can run to my problems. Before you hit the door and run where you yes. need to run, yeah. know that God is with you. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes. And I don't care what giants are waiting for you. Right. Greater is he that sent me than he that is in the world. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. Yes. <laughs> so, and David runs towards the giant and takes a, a stone from his bag. Uh -huh. He didn't use all five. He just knew one was enough. Yeah. He put it in his sling, he hurled it, and straight into the uh, giant or the Goliath's forehead. Mm -hmm. And since David had no sword, he ran and pulled mm -hmm. the giant's sword from his sheath. Mm -hmm. David used it to kill the giant, cut off his head. Yeah, when the Philistine saw that their champion, yeah. <laughs> the giant, is dead, they are terrified and they run away. Yeah. Now the armies, the Israeli armies, feel brave. Mm. <laughs> they feel brave when they see the enemy run away. 
So if you're brave enough to go after them and conquer them. <laughs> so, so thank you, God. David knew his God. Yes. Thank you, God, that David did not cower down. And That's thank right. you, Lord, for David. He made himself available. Yeah. Amen. Young or old, just make yourself available. Amen. God will use you wherever you are. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Keep going, Carter. Here we go. You have a choice each and every single day. I choose to feel blessed. Mm -hmm. I choose to feel uh, grateful. I choose to feel excited. I choose to be thankful. I choose to be happy. I choose to be joyful and glad. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. But you don't know what waits. You don't know. But the Lord tells us, this is the day I have given you. Rejoice and be glad in it. He's given us a new day. Thank you, Lord. And I choose to be available. Amen. I make myself available for you. Lord. Yes. I know he wants to use me. Amen. So praise God. And uh, I just wanted to say, believe it or not, if you don't know this, you can write it down. Believe it or not, nobody cares how much you know That's until right. they see how much you, how much care. you care. They don't care how much you know until they see how much you care. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Passion would not allow them to seek a comfort zone. Sometimes we're looking for a comfort zone. A lot of times we, we're looking for a procrastination zone, a complacency zone, yeah. a compromising zone, a lazy zone, an excuse zone. <laughs> how, many, how many excuses do you think God has heard by now? <laughs> oh man, he could write a book. He could write a book. <laughs> Easy way out zone, but the best zone you can be is be available zone. This is the zone we need to be in. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, in closing, yes. Amen. Well, I just wanted to once again tell you about Paul and Silas in, in Acts chapter 16. Paul and Silas in prison around midnight says Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners listened, so they were not silent. They were loud. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, and the prison was shaken to its foundations. All the doors flew open, and the chains fell off prisoners, off the prisoners. Amen. God heard. Amen. So they make themselves available, even if they was hurting. Yeah. They make themselves available to God. They were not just thinking about themselves. They were thinking about all these prisoners here. They were thinking about the God, because he got saved. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. They make themselves available mm -hmm. to pray and sing. The prisoners heard him. So did God. Yes. And he got involved. Yes, he did. And he freed them. God hears you. Don't yes, ever say, God never hears me. Remember, there is timing. Even when you pray, yeah. there's a time. Amen. There's a time. It's his time and not ours. Yes. So in closing. Amen. Amen. I'll just be quick about this, but uh, God wants to use you. Mm -hmm. Know this. God wants to use you. Yes, Don't ever does. say he doesn't. God is calling you today to be a passionate follower of yes. this. Amen. A passionate child of God. Be a passionate child of God. The thing, the thing about it is, do you want to be used? That's the question. Amen. Uh, yeah. So praise God. We'll close with that. Passion is serving him. Be available. This is the greatest need of the church today. Remember, yes. we are the church. Yes, we are. This building is not the church. Yes, we're right. the church. We're the body of Christ. Yes. Greatest need in the body of Christ now is making yourself available to Him. Uh huh. You know, I think it was President Kennedy that says, "It's not what you can. What was it? Yeah. Your country can do for you is what you can do for your country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. You. What can I do for you, Lord? Yeah. Right. Amen. He's done what he's. Yes. Is what he did. But now yes. it's what can I do for you? Lord? Amen. Amen. Make yourself available. Amen. And you can do this because he says you can do all things, all things. through Christ. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. It's a time to give. Yes. So those of you watching or listening, 
would like to give yeah. of your tithes and offerings, you can still do so. Go to our website, nbcbigben.com, hit that donate button. And if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you've never accepted Christ, now's the time. If you've been just complacent, it's time to get fired up for Him. To receive Him, you know, if you've never received Him, just say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. I yes. want to be available to you. Make yes. myself available to you. Yes. And He'll use you. Amen. He wants to use you. I don't care who says what. If you're hurting, whatever part of your body, just place your hands where and, and 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 believe that by Jesus Christ you're healed because the word of God says so. By Jesus Christ I am healed. So body line up with the word of God and be healed. We cancel every spirit of sickness, we cancel every spirit of infirmity to come out. This is the body, this is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So I give no place to sickness in this body. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Then by Jesus Christ I am healed. Yes. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Thank you, Lord. Be blessed. God bless you. Thank you.